Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. And today we're gonna to be starting the journey of making a laser engraver with a laser. Now, I my last video, I did a review of this uh, E40 laser module from Niji. And if you haven't seen it, check it out above, because we'll be using this laser module to be cutting black acrylic in as many parts as I can for this new engraver. Now, the focal point of the design of this new engraver is going to be a cantilever style machine like I'm going to show you right here. And um, the laser module is from Nijia as well. And it's a N40, uh, sorry about that, it's a N30635 uh, laser module. And it's a low power laser module with 405 nanometer wavelength and here's the module it's a little tiny guy but the purpose of it is for grayscale engraving so with the, my cutting style lasers i can't really do photos and things like that that i want to on wood and so that's what the purpose of this machine is going to be now for the controller of the machine we're going to be using uh, this maker base DLC 32 controller and it also has a touch screen and it has Wi-Fi. Now I've used this uh, previously on this machine here and that's why I chose it. It's uh, relatively inexpensive and I had a lot of good success for it. Um, now if you want to purchase any of those items I'll put some links in the description below. Let's get to what this video is about. Now this part of the video is about making an adjustable z-axis for the machine and it's primarily made out of six millimeter acrylic and then i have a front plate of two and a half millimeter acrylic it'd probably be a little better if you went with three or four or so but it's just happened to what i have on hand now the design that i got i chose for this and where i made my design from is from a module that i uh, that i purchased from aliexpress and you could probably save yourself a little bit of time by purchasing it on AliExpress, and it'll be down in the description also. Um, it was about 20 bucks on AliExpress, and I'm sure I probably spent more making this. But that's not what I like to do. I like to make things uh, with my machines, and so that's why I decided to make this myself. And I thought it'd be a fun challenge to make as many parts as I can with a laser, for laser. So... Before you start cutting this, make sure that you have very good ventilation because cutting acrylic on a laser produces a pretty not nasty smell and I'm sure it's probably toxic. I don't know for that for sure, but it's always be safe to have proper ventilation when you're cutting with the laser. Now the rest of the parts in this assembly I purchased on Amazon and they'll be down in the links uh, below too. So let's get to cutting this thing out. So we have the carriage assembly that we're going to work on putting it together here. As you see, we cut the majority of the parts out of some six millimeter black acrylic on the laser, the E40 laser cutter. And here are the pieces. So we're going to attempt to assemble it. This is the major plates. And then we have some rods over here, six millimeter rods. We have a eight millimeter Acme screw, um, a knob that I 3D printed. And then um, we have this assembly that's gonna hold the Acme. And then we have the mount for the laser. And we have our wheels and screws. 
um, and spacers and uh, eccentric nuts. And then we have our six millimeter bushings that are going to be assembled in here. And I already assembled this piece. Um, it basically has, you know, two or nut, uh, three millimeter screws with nuts on the inside and we'll see how we do these other ones it's very similar this is the front plate where the laser is going to mount to this is the back plate this is the top plate and this is the bottom plate so we'll start off by uh, it's putting the top and the bottom on and so basically you have a three millimeter nut that is going to go into this little hole right there. It's going to go into that hole. And then the screw. It's going to be kind of hard to do. They fit in there pretty nicely. But, so this is the bottom plate. So we'll have to feed these in and the screw kind of at the same time. It's kind of hard to do, but not terrible. Just kind of holding the, the nut in place with my finger until we can get it started. Just got it started, so perfect. Do the same thing with this other side. kind of fun to try to adjust this and get this nut in here in the right spot there we go all right so we got that one in we'll tighten her up Do the same thing with the top. Now I made the top a little bit long on the back so I can possibly attach the cable chain to uh, or the board that goes on this. All right, so there we got the top and the bottom plate on. All right, so then we'll have this bushing here. A couple, we're gonna use four millimeter screws to hold it in. Ah. Four millimeter screws to hold it in place. So that's what's going to hold this assembly here. All right, so we got this assembly. Now I tried to laser cut, um, I tried to laser cut these little holes for this piece that goes right here, but those little small tiny holes do not laser cut very well. They more melt than anything. So 
I'm going to... So I drilled, ended up drilling them out instead. It worked out a lot better. I'm just going to get this uh, nut in here. And this is a one of the plastic style um, plastic style nuts. A brass one would be just fine. Perfect. Now we'll see if we can get this to thread down in there. There we go. Now we have this assembly mostly together. We'll go ahead and tighten these screws around this collar so that the bolt doesn't go in there anymore the Acme screw doesn't move up and down we want the we're going to have to get a different Allen wrench. They're not perfect. Yeah, so now this thing moves up and down instead of the screw moving up and down. So perfect. All right, well, let's put on this guy here. This is the mount for the for the laser. This will hold the laser module. And it's made out of aluminum and probably we'll change that little screw out for a different one. Because it kind of sticks out. It's a three, three millimeter screw. Get started in this hole. There we go. Perfect. All right, so now that's on there. That should hopefully help stabilize some things. See what we got working on. This will help hold that side. But so we got these little brass bushings. And I probably should have put these in earlier. Probably would have made my life a little bit easier. But, so they go in there. I'm going to glue these in place here with some CA glue. Once we get our rods in here. So we have our six millimeter rods. This will help stabilize that movement that we're seeing. And keep everything kind of lined up. All right. That's basically how they're going to go. Now I'll take some CA glue. 
Man. Blue is gone. So they don't move. Get the other side set up so I can do both of them. So when I do these, I'm going to slide the bottom one to be level with the bottom and the top to be level with the top. And glue them in the center here. I'm gonna put a couple of drops right there. We'll do the same thing on this side. That way we can get maximum travel up and down. Trying to be careful not to get any on the actual uh, metal rod. Now what I can do is kind of slide these in a little bit to get some glue in the hole. I don't want to go real far with it. We'll see how it works first. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So as you can see, this basically all this screw is doing is just help holding that rail in place, that rod in place. And then on the other side, you got this bracket that catches the edge of the rod. So, but on this other side, I'm gonna have to trim him up a little bit. It's a little bit on the long side. All right, so now we got a working assembly. Just need to put the knob on the top. We'll be good to go but all right so we got pretty much the whole assembly together minus the rails and our nut our top screw so let's get this top screw on here there we go tighten this guy up Like I said, I made this knob on my 3D printer. Uh, you can cut that out of acrylic too if you wanted, but now we have an assembly that moves. And our wobble is gone. Now that we got our rails in there, it looks pretty good. So next step is to get our wheels on here. And the bottom ones are the centric nuts. So we'll have these little centric nut spacers in there. And they go in just like so.
and that allows us to tighten these up against the the rails so get our nuts in here perfect all right let's see if we got the clearance yeah pretty good that it catches just a hair but that'll be fine all right well that's it for the z assembly pretty good not bad for a first run So we got quite a bit of movement on this guy, probably a lot more than we need, but it was a fun project making this little Z assembly. All right, that's it for this guy, on to the next. All right, now we have the unit all assembled and it's ready to go and it seems like it's gonna work out perfectly. Now, I wanted to give you a few bits of knowledge on working with this black acrylic specifically on this design. The, when you're cutting black acrylic with a laser, the edges are not super smooth, uh, especially with this diode laser. They're a little bit rough, and if you want to clean them up, you can do so with a razor blade or some sandpaper, and you can clean them up really nice. Um, but for the function of this, it's not necessary. So I didn't clean mine up. Um, I don't care if it looks just a little bit rough. It's fine with me. It's going to function just fine. And also, when you're cutting the small holes, specifically in the 6 millimeter acrylic, such as the 3 millimeter holes, you might just want to mark those and then drill them with a drill bit because as the laser spins on the small holes, it kind of melts the acrylic to each other because it doesn't have a time to re-solidify on every pass. So any of those real short passes uh, might not come out clean. This is the first part of a multi-part series and this is just over this as you can see. Um, but at the end of the series I'll be posting the plan somehow uh, so you guys can get access to them once I know everything works good. I don't want to give you guys some bad plans and that are not functionable. So anyhow, if you want to see what's next, make sure you like and subscribe and don't forget to hit those uh, notification bell. All right, see you next time on What's Next DIY.